everybody it's Wednesday and I've been listing just a little bit more not getting too crazy not trying to overwhelm myself Ooh, trying to lose the phone the camera apparently um, but it seems eBay has maybe noticed a little bit I don't want to get my hopes up because it's just a little bit of listing but I do have um, technically five orders today but one's gonna be a combo order I'm actually gonna pull it last because it's gonna be more difficult to ship and pull than a duck I I wasn't prepared for this sale even though I sent out a ton of I sent out a ton of offers today um, right before I went to work and I think I did right around 25% normally I do 15 sometimes 20 on a Friday today I was like you know what let's bump up maybe some sales see if we'll get some things moving and I bumped it to 25% that being said I didn't expect the big thing to sell and I didn't expect to sell two big things to one person and of course this is right after the post office just started upping their, uh, what is it? Their handling, special handling, big box fee. Oh, what am I going to do? I don't, I don't even know if I have a box. I know some people ship in bags. I don't feel comfortable shipping in a bag. I have the luck that it's going to break. Well, we'll get to that at the end. But five orders. We have a total of $136.08, obviously, before fees as usual. And let's go ahead. We'll start at the bottom because the first one is going to be one that I recently listed and it did sell after Easter. It's actually in this bag. I have a few bags up here, two, two bags, two and a half bags to be exact of things that need to be put away after I finally just got those other ones put away. So it's going to be this here right on top. It's just this little people's, um, I did it as an Easter lot set. So it's got like one of the little figures in a rabbit suit and like this little cute like sunflower I don't know like garden arch but that sold full price for $15.95 that was not one of the best offers and also that's one of the things I picked up in the two baggies for like five deal at that mom to mom day sale mom to mom sale <laughs> not mom to mom day so make sure you're hitting up those mom to mom sales if you're selling toys and stuffed animals and in kids, in kids clothing if you do that but I don't do that all right, that was an easy one. Moving up from the bottom is going to be a Bianca Disney Mouse plush. Where did I get this? Salvate in Value World, maybe? I don't think it came in a Goodwill blue box. It might have actually been even a yard sale. It's going to be in box eight. It's going to be under all these puzzles. This one actually was a best offer that someone sent me for $10. And let's see. We're going to be under all of these puzzles. We are looking for a white mouse with a purple hat. Mm. She is new with tags. I just seen her. Here we go. So these I've sold, not this one in particular, except for today. I've sold a couple of other um, beanbag plushes from same thing, the Disney store, the same tag. If you find them, it does usually say on the tag who they are. And I think I've sold every single one of these between eight and $12. So as long as you can get them up, pick them up for a dollar or less. I say pick them up. They're usually a eh, mid tail item being in box eight. I don't think it's been that long that it's been listed. However, everything was condensed. So I could be wrong because the things going back in the box are puzzles. We have probably made little to no room with that sale. But it's still okay because this box actually pushes in to the shelf just fine. All right, so that was eight dollars. No, ten dollars. Did I say eight? Ten dollars. Best offer <laughs> in box eight. So yeah, I've sold all of them between eight and twelve. I think there's been a Pluto, a Mickey, the Seven Dwarves. I think that might be it. There might have been a Fantasia Mickey. I don't think so though. Moving up again from the bottom is going to be everything's over here lately. Box five. Now this was, I marked them as SO, so I knew it wasn't a best offer. It was like a seller offer from myself. Look at me shake. <sighs> it depends on where I hold the, uh, I guess it's a selfie stick, the tripod, monopod. Is a monopod just a glorified selfie stick? It depends, I guess, on which way it's facing. <laughs> this is a seller offer of 25% off, so it sold for... $11.21. It is a, a lot of, not Lego figures, but the accessories. 
So this comes from when I was buying the Goodwill blue boxes that were Legos. And then I would part them out. Kind of find all the figures and like the pieces. I guess I'll have you look inside this box with me, but it's kind of a mess as they all are. Come look at this mess with me. And by mess, I mean it's mostly just full with like stuffed animals. I guess that's a good thing is you can just drop them and they don't really break. <laughs> Okay, now we're getting somewhere. It shouldn't be too hard to find because it's just a bunch of small figurines. Or small playthings, right? Especially in the land of salt and pepper shakers. Oh, 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 oh. Is this it? Uh, let me just double check the rest of this box, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Just to make sure there's no other weird Lego fig. Oh, no, it's not this one. This one is animals. And I know it's not that one. This is why sometimes if you have a lot of like items, it's good to separate them. Like I talked about in a previous video about separating your plush. Because, like, if there was a bunch of Legos in here, could you imagine looking through each lot of Legos trying to find the exact one? This was easy. It's either this lot or the one with the animals, and I know it's not the animals. And also I know it's this one because I listed it as chicken in the title, and there is a chicken. <laughs> or a, you know, a drumstick. Just like before, that's not going to make very much space, is it? It's not. But, like I've also said previously, I'm going to start moving some of the bigger items to the back. And the smaller items to the front so that way I'm not digging as much or for as long alright put this mask that you don't yeah I'll just put it in here actually that did fit a little better I'm assuming it's not because of this but because of how I arranged it but I say 1121 yeah 1121 on a 25% off sale <laughs> And lastly, I'm dreading this. I'm dreading this. I shouldn't be dreading this sale. Um, these were items that were given to me from my brother. I probably still pay him out. Probably. <laughs> I will. Um, I don't want to ship these. I don't want to ship them. I don't want to pull them. I don't want to ship them. <laughs> there are individual stadium chairs. This is going to be a pain. So anyway, these are Oklahoma Sooners stadium chairs. Um, my brother picked these up a long time ago when we were camping and we used to go to the campground that we used to stay at had like a, like a really cool, like bingo. And they had like long bleacher picnic table sort of things. And you'd play, you know, over the weekend, like a couple rounds of bingo or whatever, and your butt would hurt. And we noticed that everyone had these like stadium chairs. So my brother went ahead and went online and bought the stadium chairs. Well, I don't think we ever used them. I think every time we went after that, we forgot them at home. I tried selling them at a yard sale. Um, actually, last year, I had a $20 price tag on them. No one bought them. And I think I had them listed around 60 or so dollars. Had a few watchers. And then when I sent out that 25% sale, someone picked up one for $49.46 plus shipping. Thank God. Um, and then they messaged me immediately and said, hey, I accepted your order but I want the other one too. Do you mind selling at the same price? And because he had already paid for the one, I said, sure, that's no problem. My question is, this person has bought and checked out twice now and it didn't combine their order. Normally I combine orders, but it might be actually cheaper for the customer and for myself to ship them separately. Um, so I have to figure out what I want to do. I don't know if I want to combine the shipping. I might just ship them separately because I can probably get them in two boxes easier than one box. Especially because if I get them in one box, they're going to be so heavy. It's probably going to go the post office or UPS. And he selected USPS. Um, anyway, let me pull these chairs. Let me show you where they're at, actually. Ironically, they are right where the duck was. The duck was sitting right on top of them. <sighs> I have to pull all this out. Well, nowhere to start with the first thing, right? <sighs> oh, great. Something fell. Wonder what that was. <laughs> have some baskets. The bad part about pulling all this out is not having to put it back. It's me finding the time to put stuff back. Another 
maybe I need to find a different place to put stuff instead of in the corners, which I thought would be such a smart idea, but I mean, it's not like I moved a lot of stuff. I moved one, two, three, four things, technically. They're right here. I'm going to need two hands. Here they are, Oklahoma. I don't know what that means, but I know they're Oklahoma Sooners because that's how I have them listed. They did have a tag right here. That's what they look like. So stadium seat. Oh, they have a blanket too. I forgot that. And then it should say on this side, Oklahoma Sooners. I don't know what any of that means because I'm not into sports, but I do know that these are really nice. I wish they would fit. I wonder if I stand them this way, if they will fit in a large mailing box. I don't know. I guess we'll find out at the shipping station. Don't mind me. I'm just taking a break on the floor. Does this mean I've effectively sold my biggest item today and like some of my smallest items today? <sighs> Yesterday it was, what does a crocodile and a calculator have in common? Today it's, what does a stadium chair and Legos have in common? The difference? Thank you. 